Hello everyone. Here today I have an RU match. <coughs> um, I decided to do RU because I've been doing a lot of OU uploading, so um, it's a pretty good match, I guess. This team I'm working on still needs a lot of work done, but I guess you'll see here. I'm going to lead with Galvantula. He starts out with his Steelix, and I'm just going to go for Hidden Power Fire, predicting him to either attack me or set up Stealth Rocks, but he actually goes for Gyro Ball. That's, that um, Hidden Power Fire is going to be a two-hit KO, and here I just go for it again, just in case for whatever reason he's he decides to stay in, although there is a pretty good chance that he'll probably switch out as well. And, um, I'm, you know, I can just get some damage on whatever comes in, <coughs> which does happen to be his Dust Noir. So now I'm going to switch out into my Haunch Crow because I will threaten it um, with a very, very powerful Dark type move. Although there is that chance he has Will Will O Wisp, but he's not going to go for it. He goes for Toxic there. And now I do predict him to switch out, so I'm just going to go for Pursuit. And that works out very nicely because I'm going to be able to take him down very, very low so I can kill him off later in the match. He's going to go into Steelix now, um, probably assuming that I am choice in some way and meaning that I'm pretty much going to have to switch out right there. And I'm going to go into Sceptile. He makes a very good play there and goes for Roar, but luckily for me, he actually doesn't have rocks up yet. So I'm going to go into Gal He roars me into Galvantula, and I think he predicted me to overpredict here, so... I'm just going to go for Hidden Power, predicting him to predict me to overpredict, and that works out in my favor because I'm going to be able to kill off his Steelix, but he is going to be able to send in Typhlosion now, and at this point I realize, okay, wow, my, my team has a very, very solid fire weakness. I really have nothing on my team that can take a fire type move, and if this thing is Scarfed, I can pretty much lose the game right here. So um, I'm going to have to play very smart, so I'm going to send in Honchkrow there with a the Sucker Punch, my only Pokemon with priority on this team, and he does go into Crawdont, which means I'm going to have to switch out there. He's going to force me out, very obviously. Oh, and I am poisoned, I guess. But I, yeah, I get hurt by poisoned. Um, I'm going to go into Sceptile now as he goes for Waterfall, which is which does a lot. So I'm assuming this thing is Choice Banded because that's a resisted hit. Even though he has Adaptability and a very high attack stat anyway, I'm really going to assume that, you know, he is Choice Banded. And I'm going to predict him to switch out there because he will die to a, a Grass-type move. I'm going to go for Swords Dance. He goes into Rotom Cut, and I'm going to go for that Flight Gym Boosted Acrobatics. And now my Unburden is un is uh, triggered, and he sends in Typhlosion. I thought I could kill it with Acrobatics, but obviously that's not the case. He's going to live with 8% of his health, and then he's going to be forced to switch out after he kills me with an Eruption, or a Fire Blast, or whatever he just used I didn't see. So now I, si I, send it I sent in Sigalith, predicting him to switch out. I'm going to go for a Cosmic Power, and um, I figured my Flame Orb would become activated, so I can pass that with Psycho Shift onto whatever comes in. And take a hit because I have plus one defense, right? Well, I do pass the burn onto his Crawdont. However, he's still able to do quite a bit with Crunch. That's still going to be a two-hit KO. I could go for another um, Cosmic Power, and I would probably be able to live another Crunch. But then at that point, I'm kind of in a bind. And I have no way of attacking him anyways with um, Stored Power. Because Stored Power is my only offensive move on the Sigalith. So I'm going to have to send in um, Honch Crow there and take the... Take the dark type move, I still don't take it too well, but I am going to be able to kill him off with a Brave Bird, which is really nice. And then I'm going to lose a lot of my health due to the toxic damage, and then... But I don't lose all of it, which is great. So now, he's going to send in Dust Noir, and I know I can kill it with a Brave Bird, so that's exactly what I do. I don't know how common it is to carry Shadow Sneak on a Dust Noir, but he doesn't have it, so... That's going to allow me to take out both of these Pokemon at the same time, and that's going to give me the switch advantage, because he's going to be able to send in something, and I'm going to be able to send in something to counter it, essentially. So this is pretty much the end of the match here. Um, I go into Sigalith, realizing that there's no hope for Sigalith at all. He's going to kill me with Fire Blast. thought I could maybe survive a hit and get a Roost off, but that's not the case. Now I'm going to send in Kadabra, and I luckily I outspeed. I thought, okay, Kadabra has some special bulk. Not really, though, but it might be able to live a Fire-type move. However, he's not Choice Scarf, so I outspeed him and kill him with Psychic. And then his last Pokemon is Hitmonlee, who will easily die to a Psychic. He doesn't have Sucker Punch, which is great for me. And that is going to be the game. So, you know, kind of a decent match. Not anything hugely um, wonderful in it by any means, but, you know, it's something. And I'm kind of happy with this team so far, for the most part. I mean, obviously, I have a very gaping fire-type weakness, like I said. So I'm going to need a fire-type or a fire-resist of some sort that would fit nicely onto this team. I'm going to want to, you know, I'll, I'll post the team in the annotation. And if you guys have any, if anyone has any suggestions for what I can switch out, for a nice fire type resist to kind of help this team become a little more balanced. That would be very nice. You know, it could be a fire type, a, a water type, anything that resists fire that could help me against fire type because that's going to be, those are going to be a huge threat to this team, as you can tell. 
and I'm going to want to make this team a lot more balanced. If you have any suggestions at all, actually, if a Pokemon on this team you see isn't really working too well, or if you want it, if you want to see something else, go ahead and let me know. But I'll post the team in the annotations here, and also I'll post the link to my blog as always. Please check that out. I would appreciate that greatly. And thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, and have a good day.